I've been touching a lot of grass recently. Highly recommended, by the way. While I was doing that, I heard of this thing and apparently it's called Season 4 for Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone. And being the number one camel grinder in the world, I thought I might as well check it out. I got in the grind set mindset and I got the Marco 5 Atomic. Now this gun's a lot of fun to use. Some would say it's a great gun. I would call it fantastic. Every time I say a gun is good or bad, everyone says the exact opposite. But there are people that believe the earth is flat. Here's the camo challenges for those that are grinding this weapon, just so you know what to expect in the future. I was trying to search up what the three attachment camos were for this, just so I didn't do the 50 long shots at the beginning of weapon progression, just to be welcomed by another 100 long shots later on. I was trying to search up what these challenges were, and no one was talking about them. All I found was, this is the Marco 5 meta weapon class you should be running in Warzone. No one shares the camo challenges anymore, and you would especially think that me as the camo grind guy, I would be sharing them. I don't know why I haven't been doing it, but as a wise man once said, there's been a severe lapse in my judgment. I don't know why I ever stopped doing that. We're doing it again. One thing that happens every time a new DLC weapon comes out in Vanguard, I always forget that there's some camo challenge that doesn't work properly. For the Marco 5, it's the 100 kills while moving challenge you unlock at weapon level 60. It is only tracking in Warzone at the moment. It will eventually get fixed and will work in Vanguard as intended, but for now you can only unlock it in Warzone. You should play Plunder and land at Storage Town. Everyone's there trying to get that gold camo for the Fortune's Keep challenge, which is simply just getting 100 kills at Storage Town, and you have to get 100 kills while moving with the Marcos anyway, so you might as well kill two birds with one stone. Everything else works as intended, but unfortunately for me, even though I have Atomic in Vanguard, I still can't equip it in Warzone. I've had that issue since forever. The only weapons I can equip Atomic on are the base game weapons. Anything DLC-wise, I can't do it. So honestly, Honestly, as fun as these guns were to use in plunder and multiplayer, I don't want to use them in Warzone because I want to flex my camos. I did also drop a V2 with these bad boys. I unlocked Atomic in the sweaty DAS shipment, whatever you call it, 24-7 playlist. I queued into USS Texas, first game on, kill confirmed. I thought, you know what? I never drop V2s or have good games in kill confirmed, but I'll play it through. I'll get a good feeling for the weapons but I dropped a V2 anyway first game on. The guns also did help, and the map itself is great for getting V2s. If you're running close range weapons, just stand in the middle of the map, hold it down, and it's easy. Everyone funnels towards you, and because you have Akimbo Marco 5s, it's good night for them. These guns are so incredibly good close range, and you would think that because they're Akimbo, right? Well, duh. There can be some issue with the hip fire spread at some times, but if you have the right attachments on that remedy the hip fire accuracy, you're gonna be a-okay. And if you crouch, your hip fire accuracy gets even better with the akimbos. I spent a little time with the standard Mark 05, and it's not the most impressive SMG out there. It's, it's a middle of the pack SMG. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just there. Equipping Akimbo as a proficiency just takes it to that next level where you're going to dominate. And if you're being stupid and thinking you're going to win long range gunfights with an Akimbo SMG, you're simply just wrong. This gun really shines in those close range maps that have a lot of cover, like USS Texas. If you're on Red Star or Oasis, which are wide open maps, you're going to be getting lasered by everyone that has an assault rifle. I want to see more guns like this, not necessarily the Marco 5. But the Akimbo SMG, the last time I can think of anything like this happening is Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 1. It's refreshing to get weapons like this. We also recently got the underwater SMG, the nail gun, the throwable axe. Exciting weapons like that are amazing to use. We're all bored of getting these generic DLC weapons, so it's really exciting when they add something new and fresh. It was the same thing with the crossbow in Modern Warfare 2019. It was, whoa! Here's a weapon that's not super convenient and that's fun to use. I want to see that return, and hopefully they do that with Modern Warfare 2. Speaking of MW2, I'm so excited for a new camo grind. Every new season, we get to grind a mastery camo on a few new weapons. It's not a lot, but it's at least something to do. But it feels like such a tease that we don't get another new grind. Not that we would get a new Damascus camo every single season, that would be a little bit overkill. I've been really wanting a new camel grind where I can just look at my monitor for 8 hours straight so my eyes melt. 
I know with Modern Warfare 2, I'm gonna love the camo grind, whether that's like a Damascus exclusion zone, whatever they're gonna call that camo, you know I'm going to sit there and rot my brain grinding that out. I've been so bored and felt like there's been nothing to do to where I've gone outside. Like, what is that about? Who wants to do that when you can just sit and play video games all day? All I have to do now in Season 4 is finish the Fortune's Keep challenges, which I already have a decent amount of progression on, finish the LMG that you guys will see tomorrow, and that's it. Then we wait for Season 5. Gamersups also has a bunch of new flavors that they just released for their summer collection. Use code WILD. Some bigger videos as well working their way through the production pipeline. And uh, yeah, time for an outro.